transactional analysis is in essence a theory of personality more specifically how personality develops over different life stages and how it is expressed in interactions with other people the theory outlines how we have developed view and treat ourselves how we relate and communicate to others the analysis and understanding is applied to offer suggestions and interventions for personal change and growth in order to improve our relations with ourselves and the world and performance. Therefore, the central philosophy of TA is that people can and do change and that we have an inherent need to be valued and accepted. The theory is applied in psychotherapy organizations and educational settings and continues to develop and change in order to adapt to our dynamic knowledge and environment. TA was first developed by Canadian born US psychiatrist, Eric Byrne. Starting in the 1950s, his inaugural and seminal book TA titled Transactional Analysis in Psychotherapy was published in 1961. The structural analysis of interpersonal stimuli and responses reveal different types of transactions. In TA, the concept of transactions refers to how people interact with each other. Which ego state in me is talking to which ego state in the other person? The perpetuation of uncomfortable or problematic interactions with another person is not so much a factor of his or her behavior, but our own state of mind. According to the TA framework, we've shift between three different ego states. These are parent, child, and adult state, which will be further discussed in our following lessons. In a follow-up book in 64, Byrne described four positions of change or life positions that, are, that a person can hold, which have a profound impact on their interactions with another person and their own life positions are defined as follows. So one is I'm okay and you're okay. This is the most constructive position where the person accepts their own worth, but also those of others. Although people with this life position are generally happy, energetic and balanced, they are not necessarily the most effective in life or cope the best. They tend to be too accommodating and trusting and maybe too carefree and unrealistic. Two, I am okay and you're not okay. People with this life position is confident, decisive, and dominant. However, they tend to have a false sense of superiority and power and can be impatient and aggressive. They don't accept responsibility for their actions and may blame others for failures and negative consequences. They have narcissistic traits and exploit or use others to achieve their goals. They also often have difficulty trusting others, which can make them paranoid. Three, I'm not okay and you're okay. People with this life position will likely be dependent and submissive. They tend to feel inadequate and compare themselves unfavorably to others. They constantly seek approval from others and internalize distress which can make them feel down and anxious. Four, I'm not okay and you're not okay. People with this life position often uh, developed feeling ignored, neglected, or even abused. They adapt by forming coping mechanisms that lead to dysfunctional behavior by adolescents and later. Unpleasant thoughts and feelings are either internalized as potentially depression, anxiety, or 
externalize an anger and aggression. So in 64, the four main positions of change or life positions as defined by Byrne in 64 are useful from many perspectives and understand positions from which interpersonal interactions are initiated and responded to, including personal well-being, mental health, organizational effectiveness, productivity, and team functioning. In summary, for this section, life positions are basic beliefs about self and others which are used to justify decisions and behavior, consciously and unconsciously. Life positions at the character level are stable and underlying daily interactions but become especially apparent when a person is distressed or under pressure. As the surface level life positions are more readily interchangeable, initial interventions can be aimed at this level to eventually alter problematic character uh, level life positions. Any questions, guys? Any questions before we move on to the next uh, section? <laughs>